So I think to me is not a bad thing. Okay, there is some excess. They do some excess. Technically, for us, it has got advantages. Which hmm. advantages? What they are trying to do is avoiding early sex. Theoretically, I'm talking theoretically. I've never experienced that thing. I have never participated in anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. But from yeah, theoretically, I also ask why do you do it, and they make some sense to me. It reduces the pleasure of sex. It does. It's not painful because it's a it's a scar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless you have got some other infection, but on a normal situation, it just reduces the the amount of enjoyment, maybe. The clitoris is the only part that is specifically made for the woman for pleasure. Just for her pleasure. It doesn't have any other purpose, imagine. Mm. And that, we decided to cut it. To remove that pleasure. You think it's fair? To reduce? To reduce that pleasure of the woman. You think it's fair? I don't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know. Vamos a lo de Mohamed, que después de una charla tan apasionante, inquietante, que tuvimos, nos invitó a, a su casa a conocer a su familia. Mohamed, ¿has estado pensando un poco de nuestro pequeño chat en la carta de la última vez? Bueno, mi esposa está ahí para decir algo, pero ella está en contra de lo que yo digo, así que... I'm against what he said. You knew how he, how he, he thinks about it? No, I didn't. I didn't know. You never Until talked with him about this We have this never before? talked about this before. Wow. It was my first time. Because Even uh, since I got married, by the way. Really? Yeah, we've never talked about it. Maybe my son will have a daughter. Mm. So I found it better for us to discuss about it. Now then, in that moment. Now that huh? moment broke the... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> brought the topic into the house. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, great, thank you. Because you, you know the problem? His mother is from Kenya. She's a Kenya. Yeah. So if he marries from here, we, we will lose our tradition. Mohamed me cuenta que el año que viene va a viajar a Somaliland con su hijo a buscar una mujer. You're going to Somaliland? Ask him. Tell me your perfect. Wife. Does she have to be taught? Are you like someone who wants to study, for example? No, no, no. You don't want her to study? Yeah. I don't want you her to study. She wants a What, what do you want her to do? Just someone, uh, you know, who can take care of the house, cook, clean, take care of the kids, that's all. A housewife? Yeah. You don't like something who likes to read or go to the... If she, if she reads, that's okay. But working, no. No working? Yeah. So you will have to give the money to the family? Correct. It's okay? Yeah, it's okay. Why do you think it's better for you if she doesn't like to study or if she want to work, maybe? Because if she studies or she's going to be, a, you know, she'll be too competitive. Do you want her to use a hijab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a must. A must? Yeah. If she doesn't want to use it, is, is, you are not okay? No, I'm not okay. What about burka? Burka, what is burka? The one ninja. Yeah, 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 that one is uh, very good if she can use it. It's perfect, Yeah, that one. that's perfect. But it's not a must. <laughs> yeah, that one is not a must, but if she can, that's ninja. great. So we have one native. Hi. Well, beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Non-study. Correct. Housewife. Yeah. With a hijab. Yeah. Talkative. Yep. Sense of humor? Yeah. She can? Yeah, she can. And uh, a good cook? Good cook or you cook? No, no, I don't know. She she cooks. Yeah, she cooks. And she's okay with the Premier League? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a must? Much better. No, 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 no. Not a must. Okay. Imagine that you find a woman in Somaliland, if okay. you marry, yeah. and in a couple of years or one year you have a daughter okay. and your daughter grows who do you think of 
mutilate her? If it is upon me, I wouldn't encourage, but if they follow, then I would uh, I wouldn't disagree also, but I would also say, you know, they shouldn't go as, as too much, you know, just so a you, little bit, you know, if just to so preserve the culture. Because uh, for me, I tend to follow a religious perspective, so... Mostly it would be uh, your future wife's decisions. Yeah. On, on, on the light, I'm sorry. I would say, if I tell you that because of the tradition, if you have a boy, your, do your wife tell you that because of her tradition, you have to cut the head of the penis. For the boy? Yes. Yeah, uh, no, that one makes sense. You can't accept no? to that. No, no. Why? A bit of the head. <laughs> Just a little bit. Is that going to affect a lot, eh? I said it will affect the physiology and the biology. But FGM affects biology as well and... Even in the religious perspective, they say, if there's a common saying, it says for the woman, if she didn't have shyness that God gave them, then they will even go around raping men in the streets. It's only the shyness that prevents them from doing such things.